Okay, now we're back in uh, 3ds Max and uh, I'm going to texture the pot and the table. So uh, I'll start with the table here. I press M to uh, open the material editor and then uh, just navigate to the folder with the textures and drag and drop it on the material icon and uh, to be and it's very good to name things. Uh, to Maybe uh, this project doesn't have so many materials, but when you uh, uh, have uh, many different objects, it's uh, kind of confusing if you don't name them. Uh, so you can see that nothing uh, shows here except this brown color. And if you click this, uh, it will only this is uh, not uh, show color. Now it doesn't show the material in the viewport, and now it does. But you can see uh, it is not an image here. It's just a brown color. So what we'll need to do is go to the modifier list, add a UVW map. Now you see something happened, but uh, uh, the texture is rotated wrong. So I will open the UVW mapping and select the gizmo. Uh, so press E on the keyboard to rotate tool and uh, press the angle snap. And uh, then I rotate it. Uh, of course, that was not the angle snap. That was the ordinary snap. This is the angle snap. Uh, shortcut A on the keyboard and rota rotate it 90 degrees. And then just click fix. Now the texture for the table is done. And uh, it's uh, looking like the real table. Yeah, okay. Uh, then press Q to get rid of uh, the gizmos. Uh, so now we're going to texture the spot. So uh, I'll select another a slot in the material editor. Uh, go to the texture for the pot and uh, uh, drag and drop it. And uh, drop it on the pot. You can see it's rotated too. Uh, but uh, adding a UVW map modifier will help. Uh, not very good yet. Uh, select the uh, cylindrical alignment to X and uh, fit. This is uh, now looking pretty good. Uh, let's see, is it this? Yeah, U tile to uh, 4. Uh, so that the texture won't be so very stretched. And this blue edge here, it doesn't uh, really belong on the pot, so I will. Uh, Delete it by moving uh, uh, scaling the gizmo up a little like that, and now it's looking for the bottom. We I won't uh, worry about since uh, uh, you will never see it in the final composite. Uh, so uh, select the UVW mapping and go back and uh, let's make a TV render of this. Uh, add some uh, specularity to the material to make it look better. It's already much better. We have this highlight here. And uh, that is what we want. Uh, yeah. And uh, now I am going to... Uh, as you can see in uh, this... Uh, Final uh, composite here. Uh, the uh, the pot is uh, reflecting the table. Here you can see it uh, kind of well here. Uh, you can see it's uh, a little brown down here. And uh, to do this, I can. You, I will. Uh, uh, I could uh, make it uh, reflect this table. So uh, this is what I'm going to do. I've gone ahead and uh, made a map uh, for uh, this uh, for the uh, pot, and it looks like this, and it is uh, easy to do. So I will not cover this in. Uh, cover that in this tutorial. So I'll go ahead and uh, open the material editor. Uh, 
go down to maps reflection add a mask uh, the map will be ray trace okay and the mask will be I can just drag and drop this zoom if I make this you can see now that when I click invert mask it reflects the surface it reflects only on the below here so I can go down here and click on output enable color map and uh, increase the reflectivity here like that and then I go up a few levels decrease reflection to maybe 26 and uh, now let's uh, move uh, this uh, into position I think I'll move this send, uh, hold down shift and drag to make a copy and uh, click tick instance and uh, maybe three of them uh, so uh, I'll then uh, change the scale of the uh, plot a bit so that it doesn't look the same oops and uh, make uh, different copies here yeah like this the tall one too so not so create a uh, go to the create panel lights and uh, down to standard and uh, create a skylight on the floor there then go to the modify panel and uh, untick uh, cast shadows and uh, change the multiplier to uh, 1 and then uh, make a preview render here yep, it looks uh, good no shadows uh, this is this is going to be the first pass in uh, uh, which we will only have uh, the diffuse colors so uh, right uh, click on the table uh, right click object properties and uh, deselect visible camera but uh, leave visible to reflection slash refraction on press ok now if you make a, a preview here it will uh, still reflect the camera uh, no still reflect the table here that's why it is a little brown there uh, but uh, it will uh, not render the table as you can see the alpha alpha channel here is clean uh, so uh, now to render this uh, go to uh, render setup uh, check uh, active time segment and uh, scroll down to files and go to uh, diffuse no uh, go to uh, output folder uh, to diffuse here and uh, I'm just going to overwrite this uh, type uh, diffuse here and uh, pick a PNG image file as the file format select save and uh, make sure the view is uh, camera 1 and then hit render yes and uh, then these will all be render out rendered out